everyone. Welcome back to Fish Hunt Northwest. We're here in the kitchen with Chef Kelly for our recipe of the week. And one of my favorites now, bok choy. Yes, bok choy. And, and the kind of cod. This is black cod. Black can, cod. Yeah, you can see it has that black skin on it. Yeah. Yep. Hence the name. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be doing actually a rehash of our, our other recipe. The uh, We're going to do actually a black cod misuyaki. Okay. With bok choy and jasmine rice. The one that you almost burned our house down? Oh my God. <laughs> we're not supposed I to know, live in the I, past. I, I, okay, we're not we'll look in the past. forward. Okay. Isn't black cod like um, kind of hard to get or? Yeah, and I actually originally it like, thought it wasn't available here in Washington State, but actually uh, Jordan actually had caught one in that super deep water as a bycatch. And, uh, Oh, when he was halibut fishing. Yeah, he was halibut fishing, yeah. Jordan the beard. The bearded the one. The bearded yes. one. Jingling You're jigs. trying to catch up to him. Yeah. yeah. I am. Yep. Jingling jigs. That's yeah. right. Okay. okay. So <laughs> let's talk about, about black cod. Black cod, you know, and, and cod in general, the reason why we actually push it towards fish and chips is because it kind of starts to flake out. And uh, I uh, actually cooked off a piece here earlier, and you can see that it has like this little, you know, it's starting to separate, you can see it's it. It's already starting, yeah. Yeah, okay. right, and it, as you cook it more and more, it just kind of just goes, keeps going further and further until it just goes blah. So oh. that's why <laughs> it's not very popular as being, you'll never really see as, you know, you know, sauteed cod on, you know, on a menu. And the texture is a little bit different yeah, too than Yeah, it's a little bit cod. mushy. Uh, it's just, uh, it's not, uh, you just need to have a little bit of experience with it. And so this, this is the reason why we actually make this sauce. It's called misugaki, and it's uh, made of mirin, sugar, uh, sake, and, uh, uh, what did I say, mirin, sake, soy, and, what do we got? Did you go blank? Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. Sugar, miso, sake, mirin. Okay. There, there we you go. go. All right, and uh, we'll have the <laughs> we'll have the recipe up on the screen here to show you. Okay. You know, all the recipe, but it's a very thick sauce, and um, so work with it kind of on room temperature. And we marinated this. This one was marinated for 36 hours, but you're just gonna have to go by feel because you know once you start to feel it to change the texture from see how it's kind of squishy right. to like now it's starting to get firm. But we don't want it to be a rock. Okay. Okay. Then you've just destroyed it. Yeah. Okay. And you full on cured it. All right, so obviously you can see I've already started that piece right there. And so we're just going to saute off some vegetables. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little bit of oil. It's a pretty hot pan. Yeah, pretty hot pan. Okay. There you go. There you go. Now we know. Yeah, about two cloves, cloves of garlic worth. All right. Okay. Maybe a little more. Okay, now it's fragrant. Okay, we're just going to dump and go. About a tablespoon of mirin, a tablespoon of oyster sauce, a teaspoon of sesame oil. Okay, these are our pre-blanched bok choy. And by blanching, you just... Um, we kind of lock in the color. Okay. Okay, you can see that, you know, this... Yeah, they're really it, light. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so earlier I made a butter sauce. Hold on. So I made a butter sauce with a little bit of white wine, and uh, and I've made this before. White wine, a little bit of vinegar, and oh yeah, I remember it. Right? Yeah. And you have a bay leaf in there, or bay leaf, and then the cream, and then finish with a little bit of butter. Okay. Okay. And so we're gonna make a wasabi. A so wa you told me something about wasabi. It's so. <laughs> You know, everybody goes, oh, I get the authentic wasabi. I'm like, you know that the, the powdered wasabi is actually just horseradish that they put food coloring with, right? Right. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry to burst your bubble, guys. <laughs> All right. So we got some jasmine rice already cooked okay. up. Okay. I'll go ahead and get this for you, chef. 
Oh, thank you. Do you, you think you can get it out of there without oh, yeah. making a mess? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. I no. wasn't so good at that when we started out. And now you don't trust me, so you proof it for me. I don't know what you're talking about, you know? <laughs> okay. That right. looks great. Right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to add our fish. And so the only thing I can kind of suggest about you, about cooking this, is don't cook it on high temp. Is you're trying to fight this color here, you okay. know, it's... It's, uh, it wants to burn on you because it has a super high sugar content. Okay. And uh, so just kind of cook it slow, you know, kind of slow. And then if you need oh. to, uh, uh, if you need to get more color, just turn up the heat. So okay. I would cook it slower first. And what is that? Uh, so I made uh, a little bit of sweet soy here. It's just sugar and chili flakes and soy sauce. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then a little bit of chives. I keep taking your stuff away. Uh, yeah, you know, pretty much. You know. <laughs> trying to be sufficient here, efficient. There you go, guys. Oh, wow. Okay. Here's our misoyaki cod. That up for them. Yeah. Oh. The bok choy, jasmine rice, and wasabi. Smells amazing. Butter Go sauce. ahead and finish. Yeah, wasabi butter sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, while we enjoy this, we're going to go ahead and throw it back to you guys in the studio.